Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Our topic of discussion is anti-diarrheals. In that, we are going to see about oral rehydration salts. Uh, it is available in a tetra pack. It is just thing but a mixture of salt and sugar, which is a household remedy, uh, which we can use in the home. A new WHO formula for the ORS. Uh, it includes sodium chloride, potassium chloride, trisodium citrate, glucose and water. And the total osmolarity of the fluid will be 245 milli osmoles per liter. Uh, if the fluid loss is mild, uh, that is 5 to 7 percent of the body weight loss or moderate, then uh, they go for uh, oral rehydration therapy. If the fluid loss is greater than 10 percent, intravenous uh, rehydration uh, therapy should be started. Uh, usually, they go with uh, IV fluid, DACA fluid. Oral rehydration therapy does not stop diarrhea but restores and maintains hydration, electrolyte, and the pH balance. The next uh, zinc is actually useful in uh, pediatric diarrhea. Zinc along with uh, uh, low osmolarity oral rehydration salts reduces the severity of acute episodes of diarrhea in uh, children below 5 years. WHO, UNICEF and uh, USA recommends all children with uh, acute diarrhea should be given zinc supplementation. Let us see about uh, probiotics uh, which are useful in uh, treatment of diarrhea. Uh, these are microbial cell preparations, either live cultures or live laced powders, lactobacillus species, bifidobacterium, streptococcus fecalis, enterococcus, and the yeast saccharomyces boulardii are used as probiotics. It restores and maintains the healthy gut flora. Uh, recolonization by lactic acid forming bacteria and yeast are non pathogenic and they restore the gut health. It, it should be cautiously used in immunocompromised patients. Let us see about uh, the antimicrobial antidiarrheals. Uh, the most important antibiotic is uh, rifaximin. It is uh, chemically related to rifampin, active against uh, E. coli and uh, many other gut pathogens. It is effective against uh, travelers' diarrhea. At higher doses, it is useful in hepatic encephalopathy that produces ammonia from the gut bacteria. Adverse effects of flatulence, abdominal pain, defecation urgency, and headache. Let us see other antimicrobials uh, which are used as antidiarrheals. In salmonella food poisoning, ciprofloxacin, azithromycin, or subtrioxone are used. In travelers diarrhea caused by Campylobacter, norfloxacin, ciprofloxacin, doxycycline, and cotrimoxazole are effective. In case of cholera related diarrhea, tetracyclines, cotrimoxazole, norfloxacin, ciprofloxacin, ampicillin, and erythromycin are effective. In Clostridium difficile infection, which is caused by uh, use of uh, broad spectrum uh, antibacterials uh, which result in diarrhea uh, caused by super infection uh, and that condition is called a pseudomembranous enterocolitis in this condition the best drug is metronidazole in case of protozoal infections also that is in amoebiasis and giardiasis also metronidazole is used and diloxanide furovate is also used in treatment of uh, amoebiasis and giardiasis it is to be noted that antibiotics are of no value in case of irritable bowel syndrome, celiac disease, tropical sprue, and thyrotoxicosis. So, it's a very short nutshell information of the oral rehydration salts, zinc, then the probiotics, and the antimicrobials, which are used as antidiarrheals. I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our Pharma Topics channel. For further updates, if you like this video, kindly press the like button. Thank you.